Hello everyone, I hope you've been well. We're here today for another fun October Halloween video and this time I will be transforming myself into Morticia from the Adams Family. Thought I'd do a little bit more of a chatty one this time and you can kind of see just out the corner I've got a lovely little set here so I'm very excited to take some photos. I'm going to jump right into makeup just starting off with a base of foundation and powder and then we can have a little bit of fun. I will be basing it mostly on the kind of 1964 Adams Family. Uh, I recently had my wisdom teeth removed which was terrible um, but I did do a lot of watching and I randomly started watching the original Adams Family TV show which is freaking amazing. I've never actually seen a full episode before, but I am utterly obsessed, so I knew this had to be one of my fantastic nostalgic cosplays for October. Alrighty, now that the base is all done, I'm going to go in and do my brows and just kind of contour my face a little bit more. As I mentioned, I'm kind of just going for a slightly more neutral look just because I am trying to fit that TV show vibe. Mm, she still has quite a point, so I'll try and replicate that as much as I can. It's honestly a little bit crazy to me that I never really got into the Adams Family until now, just because it's such, such a me thing. Like... <laughs> Just the whole kind of thing spooky or creepy the whole year round and especially their house as well like is that not the dream to live in a mansion with a bunch of like weird unique items I just as you can kind of tell by my room I kind of have that a little bit anyway but oh, imagine a whole mansion full amazing I must admit I am interested in the new Wednesday TV show coming out on Netflix um I'll definitely watch it. I think because the original TV show has just kind of hit everything I love, it is going to make it a little bit trickier to kind of, for any other variation of it to be perfect, you know? Awesome, I think that's a pretty good starting point and now I'm going to go in and do some eyeshadow. Going to keep it pretty basic, um, I think I'm just going to darken my eyes a little bit and then I can go in and do quite a lovely wing liner as well. I feel like this October has been super hectic, mostly in a good way. Um, I think work has just been utterly busy. Um, October has been a very busy month for it. Um, but then also I feel like last year with Halloween I kind of... I had all these plans and things I wanted to do, but I didn't really start any of them. So by the time October rolled around, I rolled around, I just didn't have any time to do anything. And so I think that's kind of why I've gone just like ridiculous for this one, uh, for this October. And because I planned it so early as well, I was like, oh yeah, I can do seven new costumes, like it'll be fine. And mind you, this is the last one, so luckily I I've gotten there. Um, but gosh it's been a little bit hectic I think that being said though like I still I'm glad that I've done this I haven't really been this creative in a really long time um the past couple of years have been a little bit rough so I had to drop a few things and you know cosplay was one of the first things I started up again and I've slowly been getting back into filming videos and you know just working on creative crafts and I have other things in the works that I'm really excited about so in a way it's kind of like, okay, cool, I can do it if I need to, you know, I can push myself and still really enjoy the process as well. That being said, I think what I would do differently next year is maybe not do quite as many costumes, but also leave a little bit of room for other ideas, just because I planned this quite early September, I think, and by the time October rolled around, there was all these new things that I loved. So like, for example, I really fell in love with the Sandman. So I knew I had to do a dream costume, which I actually shot yesterday. Um, and that was fantastic, but it was kind of like, I already had a million things going on, but the way I work, I couldn't just leave dream alone. I had to get him done as well. So I think next year I'm gonna kind of say, cool, here's the, the rough outline. 
we'll just leave a little bit of room because I know I'm gonna want to do something you know quite spontaneously as well cool as I said really simple and now I'm just gonna hop in with a liner I'm also going to hop in with some lashes the ones I have they're not too extreme they're just gonna add a little bit of something to it while they get a little bit tacky I'll add some lashes to my lower lash line I'm just highlighting my inner corners right now I have this pencil it's actually from the Colourpop um, avatar collaboration that they did I love this thing so much like as you can see it just makes everything pop so much and it looks really lovely on camera now I guess the last thing to talk about is what are you gonna wear for Halloween <laughs> um, I am interested to see what everyone is going to be doing um, I'm interested to see what my friends do as well I think for me it's obviously a bit of a tricky one having a million different costumes available for me. Um, I think what I will do is I'll do like a kind of low-key Sylvie costume just because I have half of that um, that I never really ended up finishing and I don't think I will um, but that way I can at least wear her horns and I've got her sword so I can have a bit of fun with that. I've also decorated out front just a little bit. Um, we don't tend to get heaps of like trick-or-treaters but but we do get quite a few school kids come by, especially some of the younger ones, and it's always good fun handing out candy and letting them see our pumpkins and all of that fun stuff. Alright, and last but not least are the lips. Definitely going to go for a bit of a red one. Again, not too intense, but at least something to kind of finish it off. Alright, so the next step is to put on my wig cap and then put on my wig and then with the costume, it's a bit of a fun one. <laughs> so we'll see how we go, but I'll get all that sorted and then I will show you my set as well. This is how my Morticia costume turned out. I am really pleased with it and I can't wait to edit the photos. This dress is like so much fun. It was a pretty cheap one I just bought online. Um, again, it was more of an inspired Morticia look than anything else, but I think it suits her really well. And the, the little sleeves, oh my gosh, love it so much. Oh. Either way, it was really fun being here and I definitely have to break her out again, hopefully sometime next year. But for now, I hope you enjoyed and this is the last cosplay video. And I hope you enjoyed looking at my seven nostalgic cosplays. And until next Halloween, let's enjoy the rest of October. Bye!